Hello everyone, you're very welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look at state savings products and answering the question, are they worth it? State savings products are offered to Irish savers by the National Treasury Management Agency or NTMA. The NTMA is responsible for borrowing money on behalf of the Irish government and managing Ireland's national debt. So when you put money into a state savings product, you're actually lending your money to the Irish government. At the end of February, 2022, 8.3% or 20 billion euro of Ireland's gross national debt was attributed to state savings products. The appeal of state savings products is threefold. Number one, your savings are 100% guaranteed by the Irish government with no limit to the protection offered. Number two, gains and income you earn on state savings products are exempt from tax. And number three, there are no fees, commissions or charges associated with state savings products. In other words, state savings products represent represent a low cost, tax free and government guaranteed option for your savings. The list of available state savings products includes deposit accounts, savings bonds, savings certificates, installment savings, national solidarity bonds and perhaps the most well known of the bunch, prize bonds. On March 26, 2023, the NTMA increased the interest rates offered on certain state savings products for the first time in 15 years. In light of these changes, the question that we need to answer is whether or not these products are worth your time and money? To answer that question, we're going to compare the most popular state savings products against a Trade Republic brokerage account, which currently offers depositors 2% interest before tax. Let's kick things off with prize bonds. Prize bonds are the state savings equivalent of lottery tickets. Each prize bond comes at a cost of €6.25, with a minimum investment of €25, i.e. for prize bonds, and a maximum investment of €200. 150,000 euro, i.e. 40,000 prize bonds. That's per individual. Each prize bond is allocated a unique number and each week your prize bonds will be entered into a draw with all of the other prize bonds where you've a chance to win cash prizes. That's the key point. Prize bonds pay unguaranteed cash prizes instead of guaranteed interest. The cash prizes are as follows. A quarterly top cash prize of 250,000 euro, a weekly top cash cash prize of 50,000 euro, 10 weekly cash prizes of 1,000 euro each, 10 weekly cash prizes of 500 euro each, and a variable number of weekly cash prizes equal to 50 euro each. In order to determine the number of 50 euro cash prizes in a given month, the NTMA applies a variable rate, which is currently 0.35%, to the total value of all prize bonds outstanding at the end of the previous month. So for example, at the end of 2021, the total value of prize bonds outstanding was 4.44 billion euro. If we apply the variable rate of 0.35%, we get a total prize pool of 15,540,000 euro. We then minus out the quarterly and weekly fixed prizes, which total 4,380,000 euro, and we're left with 11,160,000 euro. Finally, we divide that figure by 2,600, i.e. 50 times 52, in order to work out how many 50 euro prizes the NTMA would need to draw every week in order to fully utilize the prize pool, which in this case is 4,292. Based on the 2021 figures, there are 710,400,000 prize bonds outstanding. With that information, we can work out the probability of winning the different cash prizes. Given that the minimum investment amount is 25 euro, i.e. four prize bonds, the minimum probability of winning each of the cash prizes in a given year is as follows. Winning a 250,000 euro cash prize, one in 44.4 million. Winning a 50,000 euro cash prize, one in 3.4 million. Winning a 1,000 euro cash prize, one in 341,000. Winning a 500 euro cash prize, one in 341,000. And winning a 50 euro cash prize, one in 795. The more prize bonds you own, the better your odds become. If you were to buy one 1,600 prize bonds, which would cost you 10,000 euro, your odds of winning a 250,000 euro jackpot would improve to one in 111,000, while your odds of winning a 50 euro cash prize will be just under one in two. Investing as much as 100,000 euro in prize bonds would give you a one in 11,100 chance of winning a 250,000 euro jackpot. All prize bond winnings are tax-free, and unlike lotto tickets, you can get your money back after 90 days of 
purchasing a prize bond if you so choose. To the unsuspecting eye, this sounds like an attractive offer. You're effectively getting free lotto tickets with a chance to win sizable cash prizes. However, in reality, prize bonds are not good investments. There are a number of reasons why. Firstly, the odds of winning a single cash prize greater than 50 euro in a given year are low. Even if you invested 100 grand in prize bonds, you'd only have a 1 in 85 chance of winning a single cash prize of 1,000 euro. That's a 1 in 85 chance of achieving a 1% return on investment and a much larger chance of achieving no return at all. Secondly, the fact that prize bonds and other state savings products are government guaranteed is actually irrelevant if you're investing less than 100 grand. That's because the vast majority, if not all of the bank savings accounts that are available to Irish savers are protected under the deposit guarantee scheme up to the value of 100 grand. So safety of funds really isn't an issue. Finally, there are just better options available for earning a return on your savings even after tax. Which of the following options would you choose? A, 126 euro guaranteed every year or B, a 50-50 chance of winning 50 euro every year. You'd obviously choose option A, which is what you'd receive after tax if you deposited 10 grand with Trade Republic. Option B is your odds of winning just 50 euro with a 10,000 euro investment in prize bonds. However, when you add in a 1 in 111,000 chance to win 250,000 euro or even a 1 in 8,538 chance to win 50,000 euro, even though it's highly unlikely, prize bonds become more tempting because humans love to gamble. The small chance of winning 250 grand is a lot more exciting than the guarantee of receiving 126 euro. The NTMA knows this and that's why there's 4.44 billion euro invested in prize bonds. For context, Trade Republic, a $5 billion company with over 1 million customers, has a total of 6 billion euro of customer assets under management. The Irish prize bond market is 75% of the size of the total assets held on Trade Republic. That to me is insane. If anything, prize bonds should just be used for fun and not as a serious means for earning money on your savings. Given that prize bonds have an indefinite holding period, the government is getting incredible value for money whenever a prize bond holder decides to hold their bonds for extended periods of time. Think of all the people who purchase or receive prize bonds and never cash them in. Paying 0.35% per annum on long-term debt is an incredible deal for the borrower, i.e. the government, and a terrible deal for the lender, i.e. you especially when you're not guaranteed to win a cash prize. Next up are the National Solidarity Bonds. These are bonds that are issued by the NTMA on behalf of the Irish government, which are available for purchase by Irish savers. Similar to prize bonds, by purchasing a National Solidarity Bond, you're lending money to the government. However, unlike prize bonds, National Solidarity Bonds pay guaranteed interest rather than unguaranteed cash prizes. How much interest you receive depends on A, what bonds you buy, B, how much you invest in the bonds, and C, how long you hold the bonds for. There are two types of national solidarity bonds, 10-year national solidarity bonds and four-year national solidarity bonds. The difference between the two is pretty self-explanatory. The former requires you to hold the bond for 10 years in order to receive the full interest payment, while the latter requires you to hold the bond for four years. As you might expect, the 10-year bonds offer a higher interest rate than the four-year bonds to account for the fact that you have to hold the bonds for a much longer period of time. 10-year national solidarity bonds benefited from the recent increase in rates by the NTMA, while the four-year bonds didn't. As of the 26th of March 2023, 10-year national solidarity bonds offer an interest payment equal to 16% of the value of the bonds held. Four-year national solidarity bonds, on the other hand, only offer 2%. So 10,000 euro invested in 10-year and four-year national solidarity bonds would turn into 11,600 euro and 10,000 200 euro respectively at the end of the holding period. However, unlike regular bonds, you don't have to wait until the end of the specified period to get your money back. You can make an early redemption at any time. If you do, the amount of interest that you receive will be lower than the advertised amount. For example, with 1,000 euro invested in the 10 year bonds, if redeemed after six years, you'd only get 1,050 euro back, which is a total return of 5%. You need to hold until the end of year 10 in order to receive the full 16% return. Likewise, with the four-year bonds, if redeemed after three years, you'd only get 1,009 euro back, a return
return of 0.9% as opposed to 2% if you held until the end of year four. The minimum investment in both sets of bonds is 50 euro, while the maximum investment is 120,000 euro. At the end of 2021, the total outstanding value of 10 year solidarity bonds stood at 4.72 billion euro, while the total outstanding value of four year solidarity bonds stood at 1.46 billion euro. When combined, national solidarity bonds represented the largest state savings product in 2021. But does that make them a good investment? Unfortunately not. If you do the maths, you'll find that depositing 10,000 euro with Trade Republic is a better option than the 10 year national solidarity bond all the way up until the end of year eight. If you hold the 10 year bond until the end of year nine or year 10, then it will provide a larger return. The four year bond will never outperform Trade Republic. The problem is that you have to commit to owning the bonds for nine or 10 years just to slightly outperform a savings option that requires no long-term commitment. And you have to ask yourself, if you're willing to buy and hold for nine or 10 years, why aren't you looking at the equity markets? The average annual return of the equity markets after taxes and inflation is in the region of five to 6%. Over a 10 year time horizon based on historical data, there's only an 8% chance that you'll lose money. Why settle for a return of 1,600 euro over 10 years when you could realistically achieve a return in the region of six to 7,000 euro with a 10,000 euro initial investment. At the current rates, the savings products that are available to Irish savers should only be used for short to medium term saving. I was going to go through each of the state savings products individually and discuss whether or not they're worth it. But the simple fact of the matter is that none of the state savings products offered by the NTMA provide a better return on investment than the 2% deposit interest offered to Irish savers by Trade Republic, with the exception of the 10 year national solidarity bond if held until year nine or 10. So with that being said, if you do want to start saving with Trade Republic, you can do so using the first link in the video description. Using this link supports me as a creator and lets me know that you found this video to be useful. What are your thoughts on Irish state savings products? Do you own any prize bonds or national solidarity bonds? And if so, will you be cashing them in after watching this video? Let me know in the comments. Before you go, you might be interested in this next video, which shows you how to claim a UK state pension from Ireland. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.